Have you ever wondered about the incredible aquatic life that exists beneath the surface of our oceans? Our planet's waters are a vast, mysterious realm, teeming with an array of life forms that are as diverse as they are fascinating. From the sunlit surface to the deepest, darkest trenches, the ocean is a world of wonders waiting to be discovered. This realm, in fact, remains largely unexplored, a testament to its sheer size and depth. It's home to a myriad of unique creatures, each more intriguing than the last. From the playful dolphins to the giant blue whales, from the delicate seahorses to the eerie anglerfish, the ocean's inhabitants present a spectacle of nature's creativity and adaptability. And yet, this is just a glimpse of the marvels the ocean holds. There are countless species yet to be discovered, each with their own stories to tell. So, come with us on a journey beneath the waves to discover the spectacular world of aquatic life. Imagine a bustling city under the sea, vibrantly colored and teeming with life. This is the coral reef. Coral reefs, often referred to as the rainforests of the sea, are home to an impressive array of life forms. Each coral, though it may seem like a single organism, is actually a colony of tiny animals known as polyps. These polyps, as small as they are, play a monumental role in shaping the underwater landscape. There are two main types of coral that contribute to the formation of these underwater cities. Hard corals, like brain and staghorn corals, are the architects building the limestone structures that provide shelter for a myriad of marine species. Soft corals, on the other hand, such as sea fans and sea whips, sway with the currents and add to the visual spectacle with their vibrant hues and intricate forms. Among the bustling crowd of the coral city, there are some standout residents. Take the clownfish, for instance. This brightly colored fish is famously known for its symbiotic relationship with sea anemones. The clownfish finds safety among the anemone's venomous tentacles, while in return it drives off intruders and provides the anemone with food scraps. Then there's the parrotfish, a flamboyant character that plays a crucial role in the reef's survival. The parrotfish uses its beak-like jaws to feed on the algae that grow on the corals. In doing so, it not only keeps the corals healthy but also contributes to the creation of sandy beaches. You see, the limestone it consumes is excreted as fine sand, forming the white beaches we all love. These examples are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the diversity of life found within coral reefs. From tiny polyps to majestic manta rays, each organism plays a unique role in maintaining this vibrant ecosystem. From symbiotic relationships to ingenious survival strategies, coral reefs are a testament to the diversity of aquatic life. Beyond the coral reefs, in the vast open ocean, a different set of creatures thrive. Our journey now takes us into the open ocean, a world dominated by the elements where only the most robust and adaptable species can survive. In this marine wilderness, size matters. The blue whale, the largest creature to have ever lived on our planet, reigns supreme. These gentle giants, measuring up to 100 feet long, are a testament to the ocean's capacity to nurture life on a grand scale. They have adapted to the open ocean's challenges by evolving baleen plates to filter enormous quantities of krill, their primary food source. Their enormous size also helps them to store energy and oxygen, enabling them to dive to great depths in search of food. Equally impressive in the open ocean is the marlin, a fish known for its speed and agility. Marlins are the sprinters of the sea capable of reaching speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. Their streamlined bodies and powerful tails allow them to navigate the open waters with ease, while their long, sharp bills are perfect weapons for hunting smaller fish and squid. Speaking of squid, no discussion of the open ocean would be complete without mentioning the elusive giant squid. This creature, the stuff of maritime legends, is one of the least understood organisms on Earth. With eyes the size of dinner plates, the giant squid is adapted to the dim light conditions of the deep ocean. Its tentacles armed with suction cups lined with tiny teeth are formidable tools for capturing prey. Each of these creatures has found its own way to thrive in the open ocean, a world where food is scarce and shelter is non-existent. They have evolved unique strategies from the blue whale's bulk and filter feeding method to the marlin's speed and agility, and the giant squid's adaptations for a life in the deep. 
In the seemingly endless expanse of the open ocean, life persists in extraordinary ways. These fascinating creatures remind us of the ocean's vastness, its mystery, and its unending capacity for life. And deeper still, where the sun's rays cannot reach, lies the ocean's abyss. This enigmatic and largely unexplored world houses an array of unique and often bizarre creatures. Each has its own set of adaptations that allow them to not just survive but thrive in these extreme conditions. One of the most renowned residents of the deep sea is the anglerfish. This captivating creature has a spine that extends out over its mouth, ending in a piece of flesh that it wiggles like a fishing lure to attract prey. In the pitch-black darkness of the abyss, this luminescent lure is a beacon for unsuspecting fish. The anglerfish's large, sharp teeth ensure that once a meal is caught, it's not going anywhere. Then, there's the gulper eel, a creature that seems to have sprung from a science fiction novel. Its most striking feature is its massive mouth, which can open wide enough to consume prey larger than itself. The gulper eel's elongated body allows it to navigate the crushing pressures of the deep sea effortlessly. Among the strange inhabitants of the deep is the giant isopod, a creature that resembles a giant underwater roly-poly. Its hard, segmented exoskeleton allows it to withstand the extreme pressure of the deep sea. The giant isopod is a scavenger, feeding on the remains of dead animals that sink to the ocean floor. It can go for long periods without food, a handy adaptation in an environment where meals can be few and far between. These creatures, and many more, call the Dark Abyss their home. Each has developed unique adaptations that enable them to survive in an environment that is inhospitable to most forms of life. Their existence is a testament to the resilience and diversity of life on our planet. They remind us that even in the harshest of conditions, life finds a way. In the extreme conditions of the deep sea, life not only survives, but thrives. The ocean's abyss, a world shrouded in darkness and pressure, is a testament to the adaptability and tenacity of life. Our oceans are home to a diverse array of life, but they face significant threats. These threats are not as remote as they may seem, and they are largely a consequence of our own actions. We need to understand how pollution, climate change and overfishing threaten the life beneath the waves and discuss what we can do to help conserve these precious ecosystems. Pollution, particularly plastic pollution, is a serious problem. Every year, millions of tons of plastic enter our oceans, posing a threat to marine life. Creatures can become entangled in larger pieces, while smaller fragments known as microplastics can be ingested, leading to dire consequences. Next, we have climate change. As we pump greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, our oceans absorb much of this excess heat. This causes sea temperatures to rise, which can be disastrous for marine life. Coral reefs, for instance, are highly sensitive to temperature changes and can bleach and die off in warmer waters. This not only affects the coral itself, but also the myriad species that depend on these reefs for survival. Overfishing is another significant issue. By depleting fish populations faster than they can recover, we threaten the balance of the marine ecosystem. It's not just about the fish either, it's about the seabirds, the marine mammals and every other creature that relies on fish for food. But there's hope. We can all play a part in ocean conservation. Reduce, reuse, recycle is a mantra we should all live by to minimize pollution. We can also push for policies that limit greenhouse gas emissions and promote sustainable fishing practices. Even small actions, like choosing sustainably sourced seafood, can make a big difference. In the end, our ocean's health is a reflection of our own. We depend on them for food, for climate regulation, for so much of the air we breathe. It's up to us to protect these incredible ecosystems for future generations. The choices we make today will shape the world of tomorrow, so let's choose wisely. Let's choose a future where our oceans continue to thrive, teeming with life in all its wondrous variety. From the vibrant coral reefs to the mysterious deep sea, our oceans are teeming with life. As we journeyed through the ocean depths, we've seen a world of unimaginable diversity, a world where life takes on forms so varied and vibrant, it's like stepping into a fantasy. From the darting clownfish that live in the embrace of the anemones to the majestic whales that roam the open waters, each creature is a testament to the wonder of evolution and adaptation. The coral reefs, a riot of color and movement, are home to countless species, each playing a pivotal role in the ecosystem. 
The open ocean, seemingly barren, hides a wealth of life within its depths, each species a marvel of survival in the harshest of environments. And let's not forget the mysterious abyss, a place where life defies the odds, thriving in total darkness under crushing pressures. The next time you gaze out at the sea, remember the incredible aquatic life that exists just beneath the surface.